Hi, I'm Merlin Glenn, and I'm a product manager here at VMware. And in this light board, we're going to be talking about PKS, or Pivotal Container Service, and interaction with VMware Harbor, which is included as part of PKS. So what is Harbor? Um, first, let's talk about what a developer needs to do to actually push an application. So we'll have a developer. Um, and you know we've got a bit of code. And we typically want to push that code inside some sort of a pipeline. And the end goal of that pipeline, in our case, is we want to get to a running application inside of K8s. That's our goal. So how do we get from here to there with our code that we're building and committing and, and, and having our pipeline start off? Well, we're going to kind of break this up into three stages. You know, First thing we want to do is we're building an image, so we want to store our image. Uh, and then we're going to want to sign our image to make sure that our image is um, you know, coming from where it should be coming from. And lastly, we want to take a look at scanning that image. We want to make sure that there are no CVEs. We didn't build the image with old software or something that's, that's not compliant in our environment. So as this pipeline's running, you know, the, the, the idea is to get this Agile pipeline that we could just commit and iterate and run and, and install our applications inside of Kubernetes. Um, we need to have a place to handle our images. You know, these are the image portions of the pipeline. So this is where VMware Harbor comes in, and we'll talk about Harbor. This is Harbor. So Harbor, Harbor can divide tenancy inside something called projects. So projects are just a collection of, of folder endpoints, if you will, or locations where we can store our images and act upon and manage our images. Uh, and Harbor also has an authentication component. Right? So Harbor has to authenticate as well. And our authentication component for Harbor uh, we can leverage uh, external LDAP, or we can leverage um, uh, UAA, which we'll kind of push out here. UAA is user access and authentication, which is the key uh, authentication mechanism of PKS, which just happens to be what our developer has used to provision our Kubernetes cluster over here. So our developer is actually logging in or authenticating with PKS uh, in the same credentials that are used with PKS's user authentication and access um, section allow us to authenticate with Harbor as well so that we can do Docker CLI commands like Docker push and Docker pull. And these are also the same credentials we can store inside of our Kubernetes cluster to do our Docker pull. Now, in addition to you know, divvying things up in, in, in projects, well, Harbor has to store images, right? So Harbor provides registry, right? It's a way that we can store Docker and or Docker images or other types of artifacts, but primarily Docker images in this case. So our registry can actually do a couple of cool things. Uh, it can actually link externally to object storage like S3, so we can store our, our images in a highly available and highly scalable backend, or we can store our registry local in our, in our, in our internal Harbor DB. And Harbor can actually, uh, Harbor itself can actually support the capability of doing replication. So we can actually, you know, we'll just use REPL or RPL here for replication. Uh, we can actually replicate out to another Harbor instance externally if we want to make sure that we have good image backup for our images, or good image availability, not just backup, but availability in other locations. So that's the first easy part. I mean, that's, that's a registry. That's what every registry does. But Harbor does another couple of unique things. So as our pipeline's gone, we might need to store, um, but we, let's say we want to sign, too. And this, this is something, you know, maybe we don't store our image immediately in our pipeline. Maybe we want to make sure that it's signed by another authority. So this store could also be considered as bill. So we get to the sign component. Well. Harbor's got this, comp uh, this piece, another open source project called Notary. And what Notary will allow us to do is when we're ready to store and sign, we can kind of do this in one action. Uh, we can generate some SSL, or not SSL, but generate some certificate keys um, and sign this image from a known, a known entity that's been registered with our Notary service. So, via notary and the registry back end, we can actually get a secure signed image so we know who built the image from our pipeline into Harbor. And Harbor can do a pretty cool thing in that we can, when it's time to pull that image, we can just simply uh, stop pulls if not signed. So we just do a bang signed here. 
So this makes sure that, we, that we're only allowing signed images, images that have been signed by the correct authority from our pipeline to be pulled from our registry. But it's not just about where the image came from that we need to be concerned. It's also about, um, is the image safe? Has the image been built with any known vulnerabilities? So another component that's included inside of Harbor is Claire, which is an open source. It's an open source initiative that has multiple repositories of known CVEs, known critical vulnerabilities. And so what we can do is our pipeline is, is not only can we sign and push our image into our repository, but we can also initiate a scan with Claire. You know, we can come down here and say, hey, let me know what the CVE assessment is in this image that I just built. And another cool thing that I can do with Harbor uh, that helps me operationally as, as I'm running applications at scale inside of Kubernetes with PKS is, hey, I can stop pull if too many CVEs. You know, if, if the image that I built has, uh, has old components in it, if they're not safe, if they're not clean, I can stop the pull. So what really, what the integration with Harbor and PKS does for us is it allows us to have a common or unified authentication mechanism so the developers and development teams that are building our pipelines uh, can also have access to manage and push their images and scan and sign their images in an enterprise grade registry. And that's how we get enterprise Kubernetes at scale with enterprise grade registry. Thank you. Thank you.